Hey guys, uh, I got uh, a couple of questions from some of my uh, friends about comparing um, this little guy, the uh, Youngno uh, 35 millimeter F2 versus uh, one of my favorite lenses, the um, Canon uh, 35 millimeter F2 um, IS USM. Um, and it, it was kind of fun testing out lenses like this, but um, just to give you an idea, first off, um, if you're doing a lot of video work, flat out, this is not the lens for you. I'll put a video uh, in showing how noisy the autofocus of this thing is, but it is um, very, very, very loud. Loud enough that I'm pretty sure that even a lavalier mic uh, would pick up on the autofocus from this lens. Um, as far as build quality goes, uh, you can even hear this thing. It's not a uh, incredibly well-built lens. It's very plasticky. Like I said, you can hear stuff moving around whenever you shake it. So it's not um, all that great. The build quality of the Canon F2 is head and shoulders uh, over the uh, Youngno um, lens. But where the Youngno shines is that this is an $84 lens um, whenever it's bought brand new. Uh, it's a new enough lens too that uh, there aren't very many uh, used copies out there. This, uh, this Canon 35 millimeter uh, IS is brand new, $550. So it is a huge difference in price. Uh, I have seen used copies of this uh, go for as little as uh, $350. So, you know, if you're watching where, uh, uh, if you're watching the used market, you might be able to find it for, you know, a, a lot less. But um, as far as price goes, this is hands down better. Whenever it goes to sharpness, um, the Canon wins definitively uh, at every f-stop. Um, I started taking pictures with both of these two lenses at about four feet, and um, I stopped all the way down to f5.6, and in every single picture, as you'll see, uh, the Canon just does better. I also compared the Youngno versus the uh, Canon kit lens for full frame uh, cameras. So the 24 to 105 uh, f4 at both f4 and uh, 5.6. And the kit lens also outperformed uh, the 35 millimeter um, Youngno. As as far as sharpness goes, yeah, it got beaten pretty definitively. So in the end, this lens just simply got, gets outclassed by the 35 millimeter F2, which you would expect from an $85 lens versus a $500 lens. But I'll also tell you guys why I really like this lens and why I'm gonna keep it. Um, Whenever you're picking a lens, you need to pick up the setup that you're going to use. Um, I've said in the past that I'm a student pastor and I do a lot of work for my church. This camera right here is a uh, 1D Mark III. It's a very old camera uh, and it is one of my go-tos for taking pictures around the church. I print out a, a lot of four by six images from this camera. This is only a 10 megapixel camera. The Youngno on this camera works pretty well. And there, this is a stills only camera. And even though uh, the Youngno is a very noisy little lens on this camera, it doesn't make a tremendous amount of difference because whenever this camera goes off, it's pretty noisy anyway. So a little bit of noise from the lens doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, and as far as the images that I get from uh, this lens setup, it's more than enough to print off a four by six. So 
I love this little lens. Uh, I'm always nervous whenever I get this lens around little kids or even around youth. This lens setup on this camera, it's actually gonna be one of my everyday shooters from uh, now on. So thanks you guys. And uh, if there's any other lens combinations that you want to uh, see you know, compared, uh, post a comment down below and we'll see what we can do. Thanks, see you guys later.